All right, so one of the first things I like to do when I'm starting a new project is set up my theme fonts and my theme colors. And this just makes my production that much easier for several reasons. First, it ensures that whatever fonts I use in my project are always tied to my theme. So the last thing I ever wanna do is manually set a font for a text box. And here's what I mean. So right here, this is a default slide, right? We just, start, we just set it up, we just started the project. If I wanted to come in here, and I want to select this. And let's say I just want to change it to something. Yeah, there we go. Well, by manually setting that font, I no longer have access to update this based on my theme fonts. Let me show you what I mean. So if I go up here to the design tab and I start going through my different font themes, you see how the subtitle is changing? The font changes there, but the heading's not because I actually made this a custom font and it's no longer tied. What I would need to do is just reset my slide here and bring that back. Now, if I want to create a, 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 a font theme for this, come back in here, design, fonts, and customize fonts. And that's what I want to do here. I'm actually going to make my own Okay, and I'm gonna call this Media Gallery. So now, what you'll see is anytime I have a heading or a body font, it's going to use these two fonts. You can make this whole change update anytime I want. There's the change. But let's say, ah, I don't want that. I wanna go back to, uh, say, Open Sans. Okay, there we go. But you see how both of these change now. Never wanna set the fonts manually. Same thing with the colors. So for the colors, I would create a new color palette select the colors that I want, and give it a name. And I already have this, this uh, palette created, so I'm just going to cheat and come right here and choose color, video gallery. And same thing with this. If I insert a shape, and as long as I work off of one of these colors up here, this will be updated if I change a new our theme color right? You see how it changes? I want to be able to control it like that. I don't want to rely on having to go back through every slide and making manual changes. So the first thing to do when you set up your projects is go ahead and create those font themes and font color, th uh, color themes so that you actually have these set up and you can work from there. And then of course, if you want to share it or you want to make a change later on, you have access to it via the font and color themes.